Welcome everyone to the Peaceful Solution Character Education Webinar, Day 5. Our discussion today will be on responsibility and honesty. These are the books on responsibility and that one covers honesty. Now these two books, these two books are geared for parents, children, teachers, guardian. These books are geared for everyone. Today with me are three guests who will be joining me on this discussion. Ladies, welcome. Please introduce yourselves. Hi, my name is Mary and I currently work in retail. I've been working in retail for about 10 years or so. Hello, my name is Anne and I've been working in banking for 42 years and I'm um, really pleased to be talking about the Peaceful Solution today. Hi, my name is Kathy. I work at a full-service hotel here locally, and I've been in the hospitality business for about 20 years. Okay, so ladies, welcome. So my first question is to, to Anne. Anne, how do you apply the concept of responsibility and honesty to your job? I work in a bank, as I said in my introduction, and it's more important to not only uh, arrive to work on time and, in that, and be responsible that way, but also to show forth a positive attitude because it does affect not only the, my coworkers, but the, it's a 10-story ten, um, ten building where I work, so we have to use elevators. And even being in an elevator, you know, you come in the morning, it's first thing in the morning, you maybe not have had your coffee, and you know how you can have that grumpy attitude? Well, having learned in the Peaceful Solution Character Education that you have a choice. You don't have to be grumpy. You can put your smile on and be, have a positive attitude. And I've noticed it even affects people in the elevator with me. And therefore, through the day, my coworkers and anyone I interact with in fulfilling the responsibilities at the bank. So, so with responsibility and honesty, how, what role does it, what do you do? In, in the bank there to, to, to pr apply that trait of responsibility and, and honesty. What is your duty in the bank? Well, I am helping uh, fulfill the responsibility of correcting errors in the bank. If you have situations where you've made payments with your ATM card or you've paid by check or you're using online payment, you may have something occur that your transaction is unauthorized because they've used it to pay something else that you didn't authorize or you may want to place a stop payment or you may have written a check to make a payment and it comes back that it's insufficient funds and then that's the those are the things that we uh, handle in the area where I work. It's a backroom operation at the bank. It's a bookkeeping service that we provide for the bank. And my interaction is not with customers per se, but it's an over the phone. And the bank has pushed a program called Customer Service First, and everyone is your customer. And I've noticed that a lot of the things that they want us to portray, like in treating one another as a customer, that it, they are peaceful solution characteristics that are being applied. Great, great. Thank you. Okay, so Mary, my question, my next question is to you. How long have you been practicing the Peaceful Solution? I've been practicing the Peaceful Solution now for about 10 years. I was introduced to it in 2000, well, yeah, 2001, and, you know, I, I, I find when I first was introduced to it, I found how effective it was and how easy it was to apply, even though I've learned since then that it does take a lot of determination and a lot of self-control to actually allow it to change your think, you know, like my thoughts and my thinking and to take on those, those qualities and characteristics that I, such as responsibility and honesty that we've learned about today. So how do you apply the traits of responsibility and honesty to your job as an employee? Well, as an employee, one of the things that I found that works really well and that I've uh, being in retail or really in any kind of job like that, most people, when they get hired, they, you know, they, they go search for a job so that they can get a paycheck. Obviously, that's what we need and, and, you know, to pay their bills. And I found that really when you're working for a company, you're getting hired to uphold their standards and their rules. And it's important in the responsibility aspect to uphold those standards and rules that 
that they stand for so that you can be supportive to your manager, to your supervisor, and, you know, like maintain that flow and in turn you're the one that benefits in the end. You, you're known for a respectful person and you can be relied upon and depended upon. Okay. Excellent. Great. And that's a great point that she said because at the hotel, a lot of times if one of our desk clerks will quote something and we say, no, that's not our policy, well, your desk clerk quoted that and, and that all of a sudden becomes your policy because it's a representation. They said, well, you're representative. So that is really a great point as far as responsibility goes. It is. Yeah. Great. So, Kati, back to you. So then, what does it truly mean to be a responsible person to you? What does it truly mean? I used to think of myself as a responsible person until I read about the Peaceful Solution and what they had to say about being a responsible person. And it's so much more than just getting things done when you're told to get them done. It takes self-control because you have to actually make choices on being responsible. It's a choice that you choose. It also means being consistent in what you do. If you're not consistent, then nobody's going to take you seriously. And it also takes a lot of discipline because you have to discipline yourself to be responsible. And that's one of the things that the Peaceful Solution has taught me. It doesn't just apply to the team members that you hire. It also is your managers. You can't have one thing be for one person and another thing be for another person because then you're not being you're not being responsible to everybody within your department and it creates a uh, animosity. Great. So my my question to everyone now then what what will this world be like if everyone chooses to be irresponsible? What do you think this world will be like? Any, anyone can answer this one. I think if um, everyone chooses to be responsible, irresponsible. irresponsible, the opposite of responsible, then as we've seen how countries get along or don't get along in the world today, and it's always on the verge of, will they use that? ability to detonate we know what they have do they have it you know and, and it's right now it's an issue on the world scene whether the nuclear bomb will be detonated against one country or another and we know that that leads that irresponsibility if they do and we know that they might you know like it's been said why would you have bombs and not use them we know what that leads to you know it's not just a destruction of the environment but people in their lives and how they can they can be able to function you know electricity water food it would be very devastating and hurtful to everyone and that's true and what what Ann just said that just shows the ripple effect of what occurs it's it's what one person chooses to be irresponsible or dishonest or lacks their self-control in any area the ripple effect goes out and out and out and so you, what she just said about the nations and, and, and countries that choose to detonate bombs and it also starts with how parents raise their children if they teach them to be responsible within the home and then the choices that children make you know how many abortions do we have because of irresponsible decisions that have been made how many people are hooked on drugs because of irresponsible decisions it's a responsibility that society has to learn and it has to start somewhere and one of the greatest places for it to start is within the home absolutely Right. And as, as you said earlier, you know, to practice the peaceful solution, you know, the, even the trait of responsibility, responsible, you have to do it on a consistent basis, right? So, yes. So, one last question, quickly, one person, you know, what can someone benefit? What are benefits you know, when you choose for, being, for choosing to be an honest person? Quickly. First of all, you're, you have, you're, you're going to end up with a great reputation. You're going to be known as a reliable person, a dependable person consistent one somebody can go to you and know that you're going to be a woman of her word and you're going to get the job done because you have that reputation that you've built up from the choices you've made Excellent. ladies it was a pleasure having you here today sharing what you have learned from the peaceful solution I thank you all for coming and I thank you all for viewing and join us next time for another discussion on the peaceful solution